Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this equation. We have x here, and x is also here in the denominator of this fraction. So we have a fractional equation here, and every time this is the case that x is part of the denominator, we have to get x out of the denominator. Otherwise, we can solve for x. So this would be the first thing I would do here. We have 1 over x. So to get x out of here, we would multiply by x. Both sides, so we put parentheses on the uh, left side and multiply by x. And also on the right side, we multiply by x. Okay, then let's get rid of the parentheses on the left side. We multiply x with every element inside of the parentheses. So we have x multiplied by x equals x squared. Then we have our plus and then x multiplied by this fraction. So I write it like this, x multiplied by 1 over x x cancels out and only the 1 is left. So I just write the 1 here. On the other side, we have the 2x. Okay, this is a quadratic equation now. We have a part with x squared, we have a part with x, and we have a part without any x, just a number. So we could solve this equation with a quadratic formula. Uh, for that, we need everything on one side. So we take the 2x and put it on the left side by subtracting 2x on both sides. And then we get. First, we take care of the x squared part. So it's just x squared. Then the parts with the x. This is minus 2x. And then the part with just the numbers. This is the plus 1. And on the other side, the 2 cancels out and we have 0. This is perfect for the quadratic formula now. So we take our equation and let's write down the formula once again so that we know what we have to do. It is a fraction and consists of minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. What is my a, what is my b, and what is my c here in our case? a is always the number in front of the x squared part. So if you don't see anything, it is a 1. So my a is 1. b is always the number in front of the x part with a sign. So it's negative 2. And c is always the number that doesn't have any x in, in here in this part. So it's just the plus 1. So my c equals 1. Let's put everything into the formula. Minus b equals negative 2. Okay, so we put parentheses around here. Then plus minus the square root of b squared. b was negative 2 and we square it and we subtract 4 times a equals 1, c equals 1, okay? And then in the denominator 2 times my a was 1. Let's calculate this. Negative times negative gets positive, so we have a positive 2 here, plus minus the square root of. Negative 2 squared equals 4, we subtract 4, okay, 4 minus 4 equals 0, so we have the square root of 0, which equals 0. We can already write this like this. And then in the denominator, 2 times 1 equals 2. Okay, we get two solutions here because we have the plus first, so 2 plus 0 equals 2, and we divide this by the 2. If we calculate this, we have 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Okay, our first solution. And the second solution is with a minus here. It's not so different this time because of the 0. We have 2 minus 0 equals 2 as well. And we divide this by 2. So 2 over 2 equals 1 as well. So these numbers are not different this time. They're the same, but it's fine. We only have one solution. x equals 1. 
But we have to check this solution now because we're working with fractional equations where our x is in the denominator and it could happen that we divide by zero. So if you found a solution, check it. Put your one into your denominators and see if you get some problems by <laughs> dividing by zero. If we put the one in here for the x, we have one over one, which is fine. So no problem at all. Uh, this is a valid solution then. Uh, but yeah, and if you're not sure about your results, you can also just um, see if the equation is valid. So you put your one into every x you have in here. So we have one plus one over for this x we put the one in here and then we see what we have here one over one equals one we have one plus one which equals two and this is what we get on the right side so our solution is valid and we know we did everything right i hope it helped you if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i wish you a wonderful day and i hope to see you in one of my next videos take care